Hello, this is John Stevens with the John Stevens uh, Fishing uh, website um, on YouTube. I am uh, using my phone today because my GoPro's battery went bad. It's August 1st, 2019. I have clips and images from my phone that I can show you guys what we achieved today. Ran into three lake trout, 27 inch, 26 inch, and 33 inch. The 27 and 26 inch did well in getting back down. The 33-inch, uh, unfortunately, had an exploded swim bladder because he uh, tried to fight his way up too quickly. Uh, he was trying to dig down, then he actually ran up and came up too quickly and exploded his swim bladder, which means he went to the smoker. That's the first fatality this year on a lake trout. It also means I probably will not be going until the water temperature gets a little colder uh, to go target them again. But I will play the tapes as best I can here, stopping them periodically so you can see the fish. It's a lake trout, August 1st, 26 inch, 27 inch, 27 there, head there. I'm gonna hold it. Here, just aim this at me. You can see my face. I'm gonna get her back in, him back in. There he is, there's the boy. Okay, got me. Yeah. And that was fish number one. We will go to fish number two in a moment here. I'll have to put my phone down and the camera down to facilitate this because, you know, I got two hands I'm holding, well, one in each hand. Uh, that fish was released. It was fine. 27 inch. Didn't get a weight, just too small. The next one we had involves a little bit of um, difficulty seeing it. I'm trying to uh, see where exactly it starts to show up. It was a 26 inch lake trout. This is the second one, 26 inch. I didn't even take uh, a photo of it, uh, or excuse me, a photo of it I took. I did not take a, a weight of it, because again, just too small of a fish. When the video comes up, I will. Um, show it. It looks like we're almost at that point right here where we can see that. Oh, there I am. There's the fish. That was a 26 inch lake trout, a different fish, um, a second one that day, which was also released. Then there, of course, was the last one. Um, the last trout was quite sizable, 33 inches long and 14 and a half pounds. So again, there's a lot of bumping around, which I'm filtering out right here, um, where we're trying to pass the camera phone to one another because we're holding a 33 inch fish in a net, you know, and we're balancing that, we're holding a camera phone. We don't want the phone to fall over. Uh, and when we get to the point where we actually have the fish here, I will uh, get that in there. So we're starting to get to the point where um, we would be looking at that fish soon. Oh, wait. Okay. Yeah, it's going. Nope. I mean, boy, I'll tell you, I'm getting all kinds of, uh, bad luck here with this, uh, footage. You know, such it is with live action footage if you don't have a GoPro. So it's a post. It's not the greatest post this week. I apologize, that GoPro is going to work. The battery's dead. It's shot from being in the uh, garage and in the heat in this month of July 2019. has been ridiculous, but here we go. Here's the fish right here. You can see its head. You can see the measurement. Is it 33 inches long? 33, and it goes the whole way back to the head at the board. Um, we get the weight here. Unfortunately, because we're dealing with the weight, and we're having to manipulate the scale we have to pass the phone back and forth again and we get the weight up there finally and it's 13.9 we're looking 14.5 I think it finally settled out at at one point it was saying 15 it did settle out at about 14 pounds uh, and we got that thing there unfortunately we tried to revive it but its swim bladder had burst it was bleeding and that one was the first fatality of the year which means 
but we probably won't have much more lake trout action until it gets colder.